Hey guys, so I have a haul for, me, for you today from Goodwill, Dee Dee's, Dollar General, and Marshalls. I'm going to start out with Goodwill first. The Goodwill that we go to is... Tara is trying. Hey! Oh. See what you're doing, Tara? Knock it off. So the Goodwill that we go to is actually one that's called the Pound Store. I know they have them in a couple different cities. They had them where I was living in Kansas. I just never got around to going to it. Um, basically, you go in there, everything's kind of in bins, and you hunt for what you want. You put it in your cart, and then at the very end, the lady weighs it, and everything is based off weight. So all the clothes you get just gets thrown into a bag, and the lighter clothes that you get, the more you can get, obviously, and then the heavier clothes cost more. All based off of weight and then like clothes, shoes, accessories, homeware stuff is all different per pound. So I mainly got clothes so I'm just going to start out with those. I found this puffer jacket and I really like puffer jackets. I have a red one that I'm kind of obsessed with and I saw this one and it's just black and white and has like a spotty pattern on it. Looks like that and it's by And Avenue. Oh let's see it says... Annapers in and Avenue. I don't know. I have to look it up to see how much it's actually worth, but it's really nice and kind of seems like it hasn't even been worn much or at all. So basically, when you bring the stuff home, you just go ahead and throw it in the washer and uh, get it nice and clean. I picked up this shirt for my best friend's sister. She really likes pugs and it just has pug on it and says police. Department pug up pug pugnolopus and then five one five oh one seven seven like the pugs number So I thought it was kind of cute for her and it's super soft. So I went ahead and grabbed it I also picked up this little cute onesie. It looks brand new. It's from just One you made by Carter's it's a newborn onesie and has a little monkey on it and it says silly I have another friend who is about to have her baby shower so I'm just kind of collecting her stuff here and there and then I also got this shirt from Express and it's just like a baseball tee I liked the colors on the arms so I went ahead and got it I thought it had a little pocket on the front but I guess it doesn't just looks like this and then I also picked up this candle holder it's mercury mercury glass I am having the worst time talking today and I wish there was two of them. I really don't know how old Merc Mercury Glass is, but I also kind of want to look into it and see because, I don't know, I just find Mercury Glass <laughs> really, like, pretty and stuff. So I got that candle holder. I also got this book, which looked brand new, and it's Hot Rod Hamster Monster Truck Mania. It's by Scholastics, and I just thought that it would be cute in either my friend's care package that I'm gonna send her or the baby shower package. And then I also got two little koozies for my dad. Um, one is Shock Top Belgian White, and then the other one is Sailor Jerry Spiced Rum, and I washed these two. So that's it. Oh wait, no, I have one more thing from Goodwill. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this for myself or if I'm going to put it in the um, one of the care packages, but I found an original Pooh Bear, and I think he's just super freaking cute and totally like perfect for a little kid. He's super soft, and we washed and Lysoled him, <laughs> so he is super clean. Um, next, I'm going to go on to Dee Dee's. Dee Dee's Discount is a sister store of Ross. Um, they just have basically about the same stuff as Ross, but theirs seems to be a little bit cheaper. And then also they have shoes that are exactly the same as Ross, but the shoes seem to be made cheaper. So keep your eye out on those. I picked up this LED full color rotating party light. My cousin was talking to me about this and I just thought it would be kind of cool for all the parties that my dad has. So I opened it up to see exactly what it is, and it's a giant light bulb that you just put in your um, lamp, and I guess it just rotates and does colors and stuff. I don't know. It was only $4.99, so that's compared to $15, and I'm guessing it like 
does that to your room. So I figured why not try it? It's pretty damn cheap and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm not heartbroken. And the other thing that I got was a table runner for Halloween. Oh, it's a tapestry runner. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use this for this Halloween or not because my dad has a huge bar that it could run down. But I really, really like it and I'm afraid that if I do put it on that bar, it might get food stains on it because people are going to be wasted, basically. Um, it was $3.99. It just looks like this. The same on the other side, so it's double this length. And I just thought it was really, really cute and I couldn't pass it up for $3.99. So that is all that I got at Dee Dee's. I guess I'll do Marshall's next. Oh, okay. Marshall's, I got these sandals. I see a lot of people wearing like Birkenstocks and stuff. And at first I was completely against it. But then I saw these sandals and I tried them on and I'm kind of in love. These are by Cliffs by White Mountain. And they just look like this. Um, I want to say they are... Oh, I was going to say they are leather, but it says all man-made materials, so not leather. But they're really comfortable, and they have, like, a support for your toes and your heel, and it's got an arch in it. So, I got these. They were originally $20, and they were on sale for $13. So, they just look like this. And then I liked the little, um, like, brass button that's on the side, which I guess is the Cliffs logo. So, I got those. And then the last thing is all from Dollar General, and it's mainly all Halloween. So, I saw these, and at first I only saw two colors, and I was kind of like, oh, it would be cute. All these, like, sitting on a plate out for Halloween. Um, and then I actually found a third color, and I was like, have to get it. So, there are these little cupcakes, and they have, like, little balls on top, and then some spiders. So, I got an orange one. I got a white one, and I also got a green one, and these were all a dollar each, which I couldn't pass up, and I just think that they're going to look cute as like a centerpiece on one of the tables for the Halloween party. And then I also picked up some mug hooks, because I'm hoping these are going to work in my ceiling decently well. I have a couple, um, like, crystal chandeliers that I made that I need to hang, so I got a pack of these, and these were five for a dollar, I believe. And then I want to say this was $1.50, but it just has, it's a nail tack kit, Brad's kit. So it just has a bunch of different nails and tacks in it. And um, I have like a little art wall going on above my desk, which hopefully I plan to eventually film in front of that because I don't know. I guess maybe if I was sitting up higher and I had the camera pointed down that you would be able to see my crystals. But the way that I'm situated right now, you can't really see much of anything except like my lights that I have underneath. So I'm not really liking the background of this right now. So I have high hopes that I'll start filming probably in front of my desk on my computer. Or in front of my computer. And then I also got this pot holder, which I thought was funny. My mom didn't seem to get the joke, but it's three witches around a um, cauldron. One's holding a pumpkin, one's holding a potion, and it says, party up witches. Like, party up bitches. That's what I got from it, at least. So I thought this was really cute. I'll probably keep this and not put it out, just because, I don't know. Um, and then I'll do this bag. We went to a second Dollar General to see if they had any more Halloween stuff. And I ended up finding a plate for my cupcakes or something else. I don't know yet. It's purple and kind of looks like a spider web. And then it has two spiders on each side. And this was only a dollar also. And I got a front doormat. So give me a second. Let me pull it out of the bag. Ooh. Whoa. It says, which is brew, um, made fresh under the full moon. Thought it was really cute, only five bucks. Really thick and like, seems like it'll last a couple years, so I'm excited about that. It's not like one of the thin ones that are at the Dollar Tree that literally will probably only last you the night of your Halloween party. So I picked up one of those. They had like five different ones to choose from, but that was the one that caught my eye the most. And then the last thing that I got, I have to go to a wedding. Um, my uncle is getting married and they're having like a country themed wedding. 
and since I'm from the Midwest-ish, or I have been for the past five years, I don't really have much country themed anything except I do have like horse riding boots because I really liked when those came in to like popularity about a year and a half ago or two years ago so I saw these boots and I was like I should just go ahead and pick them up even though they said they were $20 I figured they would look cute with jeans and everything and they're not too like country screaming so they look like this. They're just little like booties, but they also have like the cowboy boot feel to them. I saw they were $20. I think I got them in the smallest size, which is a six, which they felt decent on my feet when I put them on in the store. And I think they'll be fine with socks or whatever, whatever I do end up pairing with them. And then when I got to the cash register, they rang up for $10. So I was really excited about those. So... Um, I was kind of skeptical to buy them at 20 but once they rang up at 10 I was like, totally worth it. Okay, it seems like every freaking time that I film, I always forget either one store completely, like I skip over a bag, or I forget one item. So I do have this. The reason I forgot it was because my mom washed it yesterday and so it was hanging on a hanger. Looked right over it. Um, so this is a jacket from Patagonia, which I think I've heard of before and I think is like a decent brand. Saw it, had no stains on it, and um, I don't know, I just kind of fell in love with it. So it's white and it's fuzzy, and it has like a nice little um, like peach silky lining, and just has a little Patagonia <coughs> like thing. Anyhow, it looks like this. It looks a little bit fitted, and I'm really excited. I don't know why, but like the whole time we were shopping, I was very attracted to all of the uh, winter stuff that I will not be needing here in Kansas, but I kind of couldn't pass that one up. So I went ahead and got it. But anyhow, back to my outro. So that's everything that I got, um, shopping yesterday with my mom. I hope you guys enjoy this little haul and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.